Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in The Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory! And today we are carrying on with our Wild Wolf Week as we continue to explore some of the wolf crossbreeds that we could possibly do. Today we are once again in the lab, so I hope you guys are ready to put on your safety goggles and your lab coats and come down with me as we prepare to take DNA samples from our two subjects today. And once again, since it is a wolf week, we are working with the gray wolf, the most populous form of wolf that you will find native to North America, where I happen to live, and the wolves of the famous Yellowstone Zone. I'm sure you guys have at some point in your lives learned a little bit about the amazing story about how reintroducing wolves to Yellowstone actually helped transform the ecosystem and create a much more biodiverse park than it had been when we didn't have wolves there and the elk and Akira and the deer were really grazing a lot of the tinder trees down before they had a chance to grow up into beautiful healthy forest that would provide a very beautiful environment for a huge variety of creatures. We'll talk more about those wolves and the amazing stories and struggles of the people and the animals behind them later, but for now my friends we are going to be working with Torn! So Torn is our gray wolf who we have in our lab today. I hope you guys treat him with a lot of respect. Remember, no not a puppy, not someone to play with, a wild wolf, never pet a wild wolf. This is your like public service announcement of the day. However, if you guys do want to go ahead and play with a very, very friendly pup, then let's go into our next laboratory. Because in that lab, we have Roxy right over here, Roxy the Dalmatian, which I am so excited to work with, actually. I used to have a puppy named Roxy, so when Roxy was the name chosen by the random comment generator, I was very tickled. So welcome, Roxy, into the lab. You are a friendly, energetic, and playful Dalmatian. And I have actually met several very playful Dalmatians in person. And I love Dalmatians because of our 101 Dalmatians challenge that we have done in The Sims 3, which hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get The Sims 3 working on my new computer. Oh, it's just so stubborn to work. Any of you guys who are Sims 3 players know what I'm talking about. And we'll be able to go on even more adventures with our Dalmatians there. But for now, I hope you guys are ready to play and pet Rosie and help me gather her DNA sample so that we can go into the laboratory and mix these genes in our Petri dishes. So all right, Roxy, welcome, welcome. I love the ears. Fingers crossed we'll get some really adorable wolf pups with ears like that. And then once we are done taking Torn's sample and mate, like running off with his DNA as well to the lab, we're actually going to pretend that he is going to be released into the wild where he can hopefully help booster the wild populations of wolves, possibly up around Canada. How are you Canadians doing with your wolf populations? I hear like all sorts of information back and forth. It'd be really cool if there was like one worldwide database that really kept track of the wolf populations of across the world. That would, that would, I think, really help us to tell the story of such an amazing species that because they have run alongside our own species for so long, we actually ended up with the dogs that make our canine companions of today thanks to the wild wolves of many, many, many thousands of years ago. So it feels right to still give them a little bit of a place in the wild world, doesn't it? But all right, let's run off with those genetic samples and start mixing up these Petri dish puppies. And as usual, if you guys want to, all you need to do is leave a comment. <gasps> You're so cute! Oh my gosh, Torn, you have some really amazing recessive genes! Holy cow! I love this little one! What are you gonna grow up into? You're so pretty! Oh, you're so pretty! Oh my gosh! Torn, Torn! Why are you just, like, pulling my heart to pieces like this? All right, look, normally we don't keep, like, the extras, but this time we're actually going to have... Oh, it looks like Romeo is the next name suggested by Beanie Boo. Beanie Boo, thank you. We're going to name this little guy Romeo because I cannot pass him up. I will accept occasional, occasional side experiment pups. And unfortunately, Romeo is a little aggressive, probably from those wolf genes, and very active and very playful. So you are ridiculously cute. And we are actually going to have you be wolf side pup because I just, too. Because I just, I can't resist. Like, come on, look at little Romeo. All right, so one of you guys, please take Romeo off into the puppy play yard. And then we are going to try again to mix the wolf and the Dalmatian genes into our Petri dish and see what kind of puppy pops out. Name ready from our random comments generator. 
And now we are going to go ahead and we are going to have timid wow you look so much like your father but you have the like brown dalmatian eyes that is so cool so this is actually going to be timid after timid goat and timid goat i am so glad you love our snow leopard crossbreeds i love the idea of trying out a snow leopard and a caribou let me go ahead and put that down on my nifty little chart that i have right in front of me snow leopard and caribou I wonder if snow leopards run into the caribou that live in uh, some of the parts of China. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that because wild caribou can be found throughout much of the world, but the big caribou species, like the big herds of the caribou species tend to be found in Russia and in Alaska in Canada. And so I wonder if caribou and snow leopards ever did have their habitats like lap over one another, or if they have just inhabited entirely different ranges from the get-go, that would definitely be worth looking into. Thank you, Timid. Those kinds of curious crossbreed suggestions give me a lot of fun questions to ask and investigate our world with. All right, let's make the next little Petri dish pop. We'll go ahead and common generator. Oh geez, come on, Torn. You can't do this to me. These are too cute. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, Torn, you apparently have some amazing genes we're going to be needing to mix in the future too. But let's see. Torn and Roxy. Oh, look at this elegant little wine. And this is actually going to be Callista. Callista, welcome, welcome. No suggestions on crossbreeds from you, my friend, but I do have to say I love your bearded dragon with the Santa avatar. I very much enjoy bearded dragons. And Callista, you are going to be a friendly, active, and independent little pup who's probably going to be very well behaved in the puppy play yard, if you ask me. Oh, that's so fun. All right, let's pull up the next mix and the next of from the random comment generator. Okay, Torin, your genetics are just like A+. Plus. What the heck? And this is actually going, oh, a Dalmatian puppy, yes! This is going to be Psycho Gamer. All right, Psycho Gamer, welcome, welcome. I wonder if you're gonna be hyper and energetic, let's find out. Nope, but you are going to be a sleuth who is playful and independent. Sounds like a wonderful addition. You're not trying to tear anything up. You're not super aggressive. To the puppy play yard, you should play nicely with everyone else. And I love your suggestion of mixing a lion and a bear. I could have sworn we have done a lion and a bear before, and maybe we'll have to do a second generation crossbreed because we could do a lion, a bear, and a tiger. Oh my. Isn't that a lion, a bear, and a tiger? Oh my. Isn't that the way that the Wizard of Oz goes? Huh. Lion, bear, and a tiger. Oh my. I'm pretty sure. It's been a long time. I was a tiny little itty bitty baby Siri last time I saw Wizard of Oz. So let me go know in the comment section, how does that saying go? Because that would be a really cool mix to do too. Oh my gosh. You guys are really inspiring me today. Thank you so much for leaving these comments with such awesome ideas. Dun, 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 dun. And now... Popping out, oh, come on, Torrid. You were really just ripping my heart in two with all these amazing puppies. <laughs> and the next little one, oh, so many spots. This is actually going to be Sally. Sally, welcome, welcome to the puppy play yard. Very excited to have you. Let's see what your personality is going to turn out to be. And Sally, you are loyal, smart, and vocal. So I wonder if somebody could teach you how to speak at a young age and, you know, ask for your treats because that would be really cute. And Sally, you suggest mixing wolf jeans and a tiger. So, hmm, we are getting some really fun ideas for more of our Wolf Week special that we're doing. I have a feeling we'll have a whole bunch of bonus crossbreeds with wolves coming up in the future. Gotta celebrate those Wolf Quest puppies while we can. And then let's get the next wolf puppy. Let's see. Comments that you guys leave. So half the fun of seeing whose name is going to get pulled by the like crossbreed challenge is to see what suggestions you guys put. So definitely keep those suggestions coming in the comment section. And Torin, you and Roxy are gonna have <gasps> look at Luna! Luna, look at how beautiful you are! You are a totally different colored Dalmatian. I was not expecting a little liver spotted Dalmatian like this. Luna, welcome! Welcome to the family! And Luna, you are a friendly, vocal, smart little pup who is going to be a great addition to the puppy play yard. Look at your colors! I am so excited that we got that unexpected coloring. 
And also, Luna, I would love to do a turtle and a dolphin mix, but unfortunately we can't do reptiles or marine mammals with the limitations of The Sims 4. All of the crossbreeds that we can do have to be based on a cat and a dog model in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, and we can use a ton of mods to sometimes sneak some dragons in there, maybe even get ourselves a Pikachu now and then, but in the last, a dolphin is beyond the modding community's ability with The Sims 4. However, I do love that idea. A dolphin dragon, or like, a, ooh, a dolphin dragon would be really cool, but a dolphin turtle. Now that would be quite fascinating. A marine base for all of our crossbreeds, right? And then let's go ahead and we're going to add in... Dun, dun, oh, wow! This is going to be Aiden! Aiden, welcome, welcome! You're another wonderful addition to the puppy play yard. And you are going to be a glutton who is smart and loyal. So we actually ended up with a lot of puppers who seem like they're going to be quite a pleasure to be able to play with in the puppy play yard. But let's go ahead and see what happens when you mix Torn's wolf jeans with Roxy's Dalmatian jeans and they have some puppies. The first step is Timid, who actually looks so much like a little wolf pup, but are you going to grow up to be more like your Dalmatian mother? <gasps> Did you eat? Oh, look at the face! Timid! I don't know how you ended up with eyes like that, but they're so perfect. Look at that. Doesn't Timid look a little bit more nervous and like literally timid than all of the others? Oh, those eyes. Timid, I love you. Okay, you guys. Timid definitely looks like those eyes say that I am, I've got a very timid personality. Uh, but Timid is a hunter sleuth who has a bit more of a lean body from the Dalmatian end, but otherwise looks a lot like a wolf. That is so cool. He's kind of like wolf up top, Dalmatian down on bottom. <laughs> it would have been really cool if he could have ended up with a few spots and dots going down his legs. That would be so cool. All right, next up is Callista. And Callista, oh, that beautiful coloring. Who even knows where it came from? And you are going... <laughs> You cannot have a dragon tail, my dear. I, we're not mixing those jeans into the Petri dish. But Callista, you look so cool. Okay, so I was hoping for a little bit more fluff, but that's okay. You look gorgeous. I love the floppy ears. I love that we have a little bit bigger of a jaw and muzzle than you normally would see on the Dalmatian. And I really love the coloring. I just am so tickled that that slipped in probably from the wolf side of things. Because, you know, it's not spots. But speaking of spots, we do have Psycho Gamer. Psycho Gamer, you're up next. <gasps> fluffy! A fluffy Dalmatian! Yes, my dreams are answered. This is so fantastic. Look at you! So Psycho Gamer, thank you so much for like fulfilling one of my hopes for what we could get out of this random mix and match of genetics. A fluffy Dalmatian. That definitely was on the list. Look at you. Oh, I love it. Or a Dalmatian wolf is really something I was hoping for. But with the ears going down, I think we lean more on fluffy Dalmatian here. And then Sally, with your beautiful spots, you're up next, my dear. Oh, Sally! Oh, you've got such a funny little tail! Sally, I think you definitely look like a mutt mixed breed here. Nobody may know that those gigantic paws and powerful forelimbs actually come from you being a part of a wolf pack, but... I love it! I love it! This Doesn't Sally just look like one of those adorable mutt dogs that you'd find at the pound and take home and then they'd be like your best canine companion ever? Oh, I love it! Good job, Sally! Then we have Luna, the one with the beautiful liver-colored spots. Luna, how are you going to grow up into? <gasps> Luna! Look at that, the longer muzzle here. Look at those beautiful ears, that coloring. Luna, you're fluffy too! Okay. I love it. I think I'm a sucker for spots already, but I love the fluff as well. This is fantastic. Finally, we've got little Aiden. Aiden, let's go ahead and see. Look at you. Aiden, you're another one where you would never guess that those big paws and the bigger body and deep voice come from a wolf, but you would make a wonderful addition to someone's home because you are very smart and loyal, so you'll definitely take care of whoever will be taking you home from the puppy play yard. But all right, you guys, so that is what happens when you mix a wolf and a Dalmatian. Holy cow, we had a great time with that. Don't forget, we also had like a bonus puppy as well, which is amazing. And I really love that we ended up with some fluffy Dalmatians. I think Luna kind of wins 
for having such a unique and rare coloring of the Dalmatian variant and all of that fluffitude. But let me know who your favorite is down in the comment section below. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.